Right here I have a, a TM1638 module from DL Extreme. The Arduino Mega Flight Sim 10. Now this guy I configured to be a radio stack. I still need to wire in the switch inputs and the LEDs and whatnot, but here's a demonstration of what can be done. Right now it's waiting for data to be sent to it. So let me uh, enable the data. And okay, it's going through everything. Right now you're looking at uh, DME number two on the, uh, on the panel. So if I can switch through different things here. Uh, let's see, I got a uh, COM1, COM2, NAV, let's see, NAV1, DME1, DME2, NAV2. And the reason why it keeps going back to D2 is because that keeps changing. And I haven't uh, configured the software yet to not do that. But, you know, this is all this cool stuff you can do. So let me just turn off the DME. There you go. So, so uh, DME 2 is 0. Now you can see uh, COM1. If I change COM1, it changes immediately. There's COM2. Again, if I change COM2, it changes that. Oh yeah, transponder code. Yeah, set your transponder any way you want. You know, um, you know, have fun with this thing. So it's pretty cool what you can do with this. Um, there's the radio stack and flight sim 10. So just some ideas. And by the way, this little LCD panel was seven dollars and twenty cents for free shipping from Deal Extreme. And you can daisy chain these together, so you have two for COM1, another two for NAV2, uh, you know, one for the ADF and uh, DMEs, whatever you want. It's pretty cool.